Right now I'm gonna tie for you guys my favorite midge dry fly imitation. This is called Olson's CDC Midge. It was shown to me by my good friend Devin Olson. And it's also the fly that we used in the winter buffet. We had a bunch of people ask what it was that we were using in that video. And this is it. I'm going to start off with a Dohiko 301 dry fly hook. This is a size 18. I tie it in 18 and 20. After we get the hook in the vise, we're going to start our thread. This is Viva 16 knot black. We're going to go ahead and start our thread. Create a little bit of a thread base here. Take our thread back. There we go. All right, now for a shuck, we're going to use two pieces of black crystal flash. This isn't a tail, this is more of a shuck of an emerging midge. Sometimes, a lot of times actually, when they're emerging, they, they end up on the water surface, half in, half out of their shuck. So it's a good, it's a good way to tie a midge dry fly, in my opinion. Okay, we're gonna get that crystal flash up there. We do a, a couple of pinch wraps to keep it on top. There we go, a little long. Those aren't perfectly even, but I can trim those those ends here in a minute. Okay, and I'm not gonna take, I'm not gonna tie it all the way down. I'm actually just gonna do a couple of wraps, make sure it's sitting on top. Then I'm gonna take and advance my thread forward. Okay, at that point, I'm gonna put just a little tiny bit of super glue. We're gonna actually use that crystal flash to dress the body of this fly. There we go. Anytime I'm putting flash right on the body of the fly, I usually like to put a little bit of super glue to make it a little more durable. So I'm going to take this back towards the back and just wrap these two strands. And I don't, I'm not too precise. I'm not too worried about it. It's just going to add a little bit of flash, a little bit of attracting power to the body of this fly. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. Position those a little better. There we go. Next, we're going to take just a small little pinch of super fine dubbing. This is black, super fine, and it really doesn't take much. We're just going to do a little dubbing bump that's going to help our CDC wing sit upright. And with a little bit of dubbing, we can go back to about a third of the way down that hook shank, and we're going to put that little bit of dubbing there. There we go. All right, next I'm going to take three white CDC feathers. One, two, three. I'm going to line up the tips. There we go. I'm not going to cut out the stem or anything like that. I'm just going to line them up and brush them. Make sure that they're looking good and sitting good together. And three is quite a bit for a little midge pattern. Two is a little more realistic, but three is going to actually help with buoyancy if we want to suspend a nymph on a dry dropper rig, which I actually fish that way a lot with this pattern. So overdressing the wing is going to help in that situation. But even being a little overdressed, this, this fly with three CDC feathers is still going to catch its fair share of fish. Okay, we'll just do a couple pinch wraps. Oh yeah, there we go. The length of those looks good, just a little bit past. There we go, a couple additional turns. Okay, and we're gonna trim those off as close as possible. Okay, and I'm just going to clean up the, well, those white tips just a little bit. Not too much yet because we're gonna, about to put another CDC feather on there. Okay, I'm then going to take a pink CDC feather, and this is going to be for our visibility. Okay, we're just going to take a single feather. I'm going to brush it forward, make sure they're lined up pretty good. Pinch wrap it on top, but don't tighten it up too much yet. Maybe a couple of loose pinch wraps. Then we're going to take the tips of that pink feather and pull it so that it's shorter than our white wing. There we go. It's looking pretty good. And just make sure we got it tied in pretty good. Nice and tight there so nothing comes apart. Trim it down nice and tight, nice and close. Okay, we're almost done with this pattern. We'll clean up this head a little bit. It's not perfect. There we go. It's looking better. Okay, now we're going to take a piece of grizzly hackle and we're going to just peel back a few of those fibers, exposing the stem so we have a nice tie-in point. There we go, that looks good. Okay, now the shiny side up on the hackle. Take that stem, 
tie it in, slide it back. There we go. Let me slide it a little bit more. That's good. Okay, I'm going to just take and do two tight turns of hackle on the front of this fly. It's looking pretty good. We don't need it to be super heavy or anything like that. I'm going to tie that hackle off. There we go. Got a couple renegades there sticking out the front, but not too bad. Okay, and then we're going to whip finish. And that's pretty much it. On these little dry flies, I do like to add a little bit of head seam in after I whip finish, just to make them a little more durable. But that's going to get the job done for us. So there we go. We'll just trim off our thread. Might go back and line up these, this crystal flash to have a nice even shuck. But that is a finished fly. Olson's CDC Midge. All right, tie some up. Good luck.